Yeah, good morning, everyone. So um, I will do a cellular wake up for you. Uh, so I would like to thank you to invite me. So one year ago, I was a Sierra Wireless. So I am here because I am SameTech now. And I'm here to explain you how SameTech uh, is entering the cellular world. And we see uh, how we can do a bridge between the two worlds, the lower world and the, and, the, um, and the cellular world. So I'm Adrian Berlioki. I'm heading the sales uh, for services uh, for SameTech in EMEA. So yeah. You know it since uh, January 12th. So that's uh, the two companies. So uh, now we are a brand new company, as you know. So that uh, now the cellular part, and I will explain to you how it's uh, drive in, within Semtech and what we do, and so on. This is a key uh, message I would like you to take away: that Semtech is now a leading full MVNO. So that's the part that uh, you need to know. Uh, before Sierra Wireless was originally known by, for the module, and Sierra Wireless was also a full MVNO with all the infrastructure, with the patenting technology for that, and this is where we are. So we are really a full MVNO with an established customer, a lot of in EMEA, of course, in North America, also in Australia. So we are really, really uh, a full MVNO, uh, which includes a strategic partnership, which includes, uh, yeah, to be a, a part of this GSMA, for instance. So that's the reason why, uh, for instance, uh, the, the first big meeting we met was, uh, was in the Mobile World Congress. And there, when we started, there was a lot of excitement uh, with all the partners. How do you do? How we merge the technology? It's really good to, to see that. So we uh, really think that it's not a question of, uh, of cellular versus LoRa. It's really depending on the use case. And it really changed uh, the way we address customers, because they understand that we are agnostic. So one customer that I was seeing one year ago about LoRa, and now when I see about LoRa, I understand that it's really depending on the use case. So we are not saying one versus the other, and uh, we are a full MVNO. That's, uh, that's the key part. And it was a long journey to do that. That's something I, I would like also to tell you. Uh, in EMEA, you will have lots of uh, uh, MVNO, which are light MVNO. So that means that uh, you have to you sign two partnerships, and uh, you have a website. You can pretend that you are MVNO. But you need to be careful about what is a full MVNO. That means that we own the infrastructure, uh, and we can really uh, uh, monitor our, our operation lives. Now, how it is integrated within Semtech? So uh, there were business lines that has been created. So there is uh, two uh, two business lines. So uh, below you see the hardware business lines. So with the module, the broadband, and the, uh, the gateway. This includes also uh, now the, the LoRa chipsets. Just for your information. And I am on the top, so everything that is with the services. So we, uh, in the future, we'll do something as a service. So we will have managed connectivity and so on. So everything, uh, everything there. The, the, the strategy is really to be cheap to cloud now. And when we say cheap to cloud, of course, we adapt to customer. It's not to go to customer and say, you have to buy everything from the cheap to cloud and all, all in solution. Of course, we have customers that buy everything. But uh, I would like to tell you that, for instance, on a full MVNO, I have lots of customers that are on non tech device. So that's, that's the point that we are. So if it's only about connectivity, we say only about connectivity. So really, we adapt to customer, and this is what uh, they appreciate. So this is what we call the IoT connected services. Uh, this includes uh, also our platform AirVantage, uh, that is a well, uh, very well known. Uh, and that's with uh, an IoT platform, everything dedicated to IoT. And uh, that's uh, also a key part that the tech acquired. So AirVantage is the center of our strategy, and managed connectivity is one of the usage that we have. Yeah, that's the point I would like to remind, so that uh, there is about uh, sustainability goals. So there, there is a Unity Nation report, and 75% uh, of IoT solutions uh, are part of that in order to, to achieve the goal. Um, I was discussing that just before, <laughs> before I, I went on stage. I like to say that uh, in order to be sustainable, the, the, the best uh, data that you have is the data that doesn't go to the cloud. I think what of the effort we need to go to the ecosystem that whatever you put in the cloud is the data that you need. So I have uh, some customers that I know, they, they, they are just putting the data in the cloud, and then after they see what they can do with the data. So that's, uh, that's uh, unfortunately a way it is. But if we manage to really put in the cloud really the data that you need, you will dramatically reduce the number of data. And, uh, I, uh, and I really want to have customers that are happy with the data that they use, because otherwise it's a customer that is using too much data, and one day they will wake up and say, why? Why have so many data? So. Now, yeah, that was uh, 
the part I say I am there, I will explain some, uh, some uh, basic of my business in the, in the lower world, so to that you, you have the theme and so on. Uh, the takeaway of that is just, you will hear lots of words about eSIM, EYCC, and so on, so just, you, need to, you just need to in your mind that the SIM is just a support, so it could be uh, plastic or it could be embedded, uh, but it's just a support and we can make it uh, all, all over the case. So for instance, uh, the last module that you see there uh, is include, include an eSIM. And, it's, uh, and we were the pioneer of that, just, for, just so that you know that uh, uh, we were the pioneer of embedding the SIM uh, in the module. The most important is the profile. And most of the time when a customer uh, is asking you, I would like to have uh, things about eSIM, he speaks about EYCC, he speaks about the fact, the ability to switch profile inside the SIM. So that's, uh, that's the point that, that you have. So there are lots of world. Uh, personally, when I use, for me, when I, see, I say eSIM, for me, it's that physically the SIM uh, is not there. But uh, most of the time when the customer says eSIM, it's uh, EYCC. So you need to be, to be careful there. But once you understand that, uh, yeah, you see there, it, just, it is, it is just a, a way, a physical way on the left, and then how, how, you, how you do that. So you have all your profile. You understand that where we are. So EYCC is a new technology, and um, I will explain to you uh, uh, where it is. So yeah, I use eSIM because most of the people say eSIM, as I mentioned to you, but it should be EYCC, uh, uh, EYCC there. So there is a, a, a great adoption from, uh, from, from EYCC because that's uh, for the customer, he has a feeling to be not locked in anymore, in order to switch, so it all really a lot of, a lot of things. That means that the profile uh, can really uh, improve your supply chain flexibility because you are not in the hardware. So for instance, you have, you have your SIM, you don't know where it goes, and depending where it goes, you can upload the profile. That would be a, that would be a, way, a way to see. Also, that could be a, a, a way to build their flexibility because you don't know where you go, and once you go in some country, you will update, uh, upload the profile according to the country. So that will be one. Nevertheless, uh, in our world, um, I like to say that our technology, as we are a full MBNO since year, is working worldwide. So whatever the country is working, so that's, uh, there is no issue. The, the challenge that we have uh, is a legal barrier. So there are some countries that made a permanent rooming restriction, and that's, that's the key point that we are achieving. So, and therefore, uh, what I would like to say is that we use this technology in order to, 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 solve, this, to, to solve this issue. Anyways. And last but not least, I would like to explain to you that the standard of uh, EYCC uh, has to will be ready at the beginning of next year, but we are still at the standard phase of merging, merging the standard of EYCC. So it's coming, uh, but it will be step, step by step, so that's what we are seeing. So long term, we see where we are going, so, but we, our answer is what can we do with the technology that is there where the standard is coming. So that's what we, uh, what we have done, and this is what we have done with this uh, unique uh, uh, premium, what we call. So one year ago, if I were there, I will, I will have explained to all the top. I won't go into detail uh, about that. What you need to know is that I like to say that one, uh, the seam is the upper part of the iceberg. So that's where, what, when you speak, you think about, uh, about our technology, you think about seam, but it's the upper part of the iceberg. But what you have is that everything there with the redundancy, with the patented technology that we have inside, inside, uh, inside our seam, is a way to play with a, to play with a multi mz in order to make sure that you are always on. So I like to say that when you see there, uh, we are the ways of the IoT, that we always find a way in order to be there, and of course in a redundant way. Uh, I like also to always to mention the B in the middle, because there is also one of the, compared to LoRa, one of the m main difference with, um, with the connectivity is that we all, all have a mobile phone. So we all have some telco, uh, tel telco knowledge, and we always compare our mobile phone with, with what we are doing, which is quite different, because your mobile phone, you know what, when, when you go to an airport, you have a rumor, and the air is looking, and the Z is not working, and it will try to go X. But in the middle, when there is a signal in storm and so on, that's the thing that you don't know. Nobody prevents to have an IoT device uh, uh, that are not well-coded, and they are doing a signal in storm in the middle, and you have to find a way uh, to recover, and we do that seamlessly. That's why, that's why we, are, we, we are advanced. And now, that's what we have pitched last year, and now we, we have our premium one. Our premium one is to have, when you are in a country where there is a permanent rooming restriction, you will have a local MNO profile, and that means that when we arrive in the, in the country, 
the SIM automatically will detect, oh, I am in a country that have a permanent removing this restriction, will use the YCC in order to load the profile there and to work as a local MNO. And so that means that for, for you, for your deployment, you are seamless. That means that you could have an inventory uh, one time, and you go to whatever region, and when you go to the region with permanent rooming, it will enter there. And when you go to the other region, it will go on the top. And on top of that, you can switch between the two in order to be, to be seamless. So that's really uh, what we sell to our customer. That once you have that, uh, you, have, you are always on, and whatever happens, uh, we, will, we will find a way to transport you through the whole, uh, the, the whole uh, MNO. This slide is uh, to show the complexity of uh, EYCC because that's the, point, that's the point that we you have to say that if you want to be uh, to do EYCC and by yourself, that means that on top of having that on the top, you need to uh, to, to to take care of LSP. You need to take care of your contract uh, of each local MNO. So that's also a solution. But that means that you need to have your expertise, and we, this is what we want to say to our customer. You have your business, think about your use case, think about uh, uh, what you want to do. And we, what we guarantee you is to be always on, wherever the country, uh, if there is a permanent roaming, we will do that. So you will have only one contract, one global CMSKU, and one platform management, which is Avantage, that is uh, very well known. So that's, uh, that's the three things that we offer to our customer. And that's really uh, this, this uh, peace of mind uh, story really, uh, really attract our customer. So that means that as I said in, in, uh, in the beginning, in terms of inventory management, it's very easy to do. So it's, uh, it's really a deployment that uh, can uh, be a piece of mind. You don't have to take which one is going to which country and so on. That is really, uh, really helpful. And on top of that, yeah, permanent roaming is, uh, we solve the permanent roaming issue. And now, uh, last but not least, um, in terms of uh, call to action uh, regarding uh, uh, the gateway and so on, so we uh, announce. Uh, Already uh, in March, that we uh, TTN sign uh, uh, the referral program with us, so that's uh, that's uh, really a, a great step that we make. What we were thinking is the same as I was explained to you uh, with uh, with EYCC, the technology. What can we do with that in terms of business? And you see that we make a very proactive approach in order to have something for for business ready for you now. And this is the same with the LoRa world and the cellular world. What can we do in short term in order to uh, to, to bridge the wall? What we see that you, as a, in your LoRa ecosystem, most often you know that there is some, uh, some cellular technology at the end of the LoRa. That, that could be a LoRa gateway going to cellular, for instance. That's one of the easy use cases. But there is many use cases in which there is a complementary in, the, in technology. And we know that because we have done that this work with our partner. The journey to cell connectivity, cellular connectivity, is very long because you, you need to train your salespeople. You need to, to do how you sell it. If you are selling hardware, how you sell services. So there is a change management that is a effort, costly, and so on. Uh, as a consequence, what we have seen with the partner, and we really have a great, great uh, attractivity because it's really appreciated, is to say, OK, if you have a lead uh, that you know in cellular uh, for connectivity, give it to us. We take care of that. It's just a platform. You go there, I have the lead. We give us one year to con convert it. And once we convert it, you've got the three months of, uh, of the MRC uh, for you upfront, which is very difficult, uh, very different to so the percentage way because you really have upfront uh, the money. So that's, that's really uh, helpful. Uh, it's peace of mind for you because that means that we sign the contract. Uh, and then after the contract, you just have to go to the website, uh, enter, your, enter your lead, and, uh, and then we take care of that. So that's uh, an easy way. And in terms of uh, how you are uh, paid, it's each SIM. When it activates, the, the, the three first months uh, is for you. So that, uh, that's really an easy, easy way to do. So that's the main reason I'm here today. So feel free to uh, contact me uh, after, and uh, we can uh, find a way. So if you're interested, I told you a TTN sign it. And we uh, really want to, uh, to go on that way, because we find uh, uh, yeah, it's very complementary. For you, you can go on in your business. Uh, and of course, uh, we can explain afterwards the cellular, the cellular technology. But in terms of call to action, that's an easy way uh, to go. That was for today. So thank you for, for your time and looking forward to uh, speak uh, deeper with you on the referral program.